welcome to another video let's solve this system of exponent equations given that 5 to the power x plus 5 to the power 3x equals 10. we want to know the value of x for this so by having this we have 5 to the power x plus so for this 5 raised to the power 3x i can change it to 5 raised to the power of 3 then all will be raised to the power of x or let's say 5 raised to the power x all raised to the power 3 anyhow so everything equals 10 then we are going to let 5 raised to the power x to be another letter and if i choose t the reason is just to make this thing easy to solve so we have this as t plus t raised to the power 3 equals 10. the next thing is if i rearrange this to make t keep start then following plus t minus 10 equals zero so for these equations is a cubic equations which is missing t to the power of 2 i mean the square of t so to solve this is very simple we are going to manipulate this as if we subtract 2t raised to power 2 from both sides and uh, i add t 2t raised to power 2 again plus t minus 10 equals 0. you know minus 2t square plus 2t square cancel each other so we are combining the first two entries which is t cube minus 2t square i bracket it and uh, for the other three i'm going to combine them which is 2t square plus t minus 10 equals zero on getting this you know what is common here is t raised to power 2 by taking it out we are left with t minus 2 plus while for this uh the other part you know is a quadratic equation so which you can have it as 2t square and the middle term can become minus 4t plus 5t minus 10 equals 0. so what i did here is if you multiply the quotient of t square by 10 that is 20 right so the two values are minus 4 and the 5 because minus 4 plus 5 is 1 and minus 4 times 5 is 20. so for this we have t square bracket t minus 2 plus then we can separate this thing as well to be having you know what is common in the effects to here is 2t by taking out 2t we have bracket t minus 2 plus the second one which is 5 is common we are left with t minus 2 as well then larger bracket equals 0. now we can check all these bracket something is common to all of them which is t minus 2 we can take it out by taking it out we we'll create a bracket for it and another larger bracket for the first one we are left with t square the second one is plus 2t while the third one is plus 5 everything equals 0. then there are two possible things here is that we have t minus 2 equals 0 or we have t square plus 2t plus 5 equals 0. I want to deal with this second one first. You know, the quotient of t square is a, which is 1, b is 2, and c is 5. By considering from, we call something discriminant. So that discriminant determines the nature of the root. So if the root is real uh, and equal, the root is complex, uh, and others like that. The formula for discriminant is given as d equals b square minus 4ac, and this is gotten from the quadratic formula. So let's plug in these values. b is 2 square minus 4 bracket 1 bracket 5. And the whole of this is 4 square is uh, 2 square is 4 minus 20 everything equals minus 16 
and automatically if discriminant is negative it follows one of the nature of it which says it is imaginary that is it is complex so because there is going to be negative in the root and that leads to complex therefore we apply this formula to get the value of t which is minus b plus or minus root d divided by 2. for the value of b is minus 2 plus or minus the root of minus 16 which is discriminant divided by 2 and we know the root of minus 16 here is impossible so what to do is we have borrowed the knowledge of complex and everything here becomes minus 2 plus or minus then we call this one no root of 16 is 4 then root of minus 1 is i divided by 2. we factor out 2 here and we divide the end result is minus 1 plus or minus 2i so i'm going to leave this one for now for the value of t and uh, i will deal with the value of t when it is uh minus 2 here so t minus 2 equals 0 which we get the value of t equals 2 and we shouldn't forget that what we want to find is x not t we just made assumption that 5 to the power x equals t replacing t here with 2 we are going to have 5 raised to the power x equals 2 then to go to the value of x is very simple what to do is we introduce logarithm of base 5 to both sides so we have logarithm of base 5 then 5 to the power x equals logarithm of base 5 then we have log 2 if 5 cancel 5 as in log of the same base equals 1 we have x which is log 2 base 5 here gives the result for the value of x and then we can have this numerical values as x here is a member of real number but looking at the other solution here it is a complex number okay i mean it is a complex root which can have as 5 to the power x equals minus 1 plus or minus 2i indeed we can further by getting the solution to this but trust me everything is in complex all right then the method we can apply to get this is we apply some trigonometry uh the basis of trigonometry so by applying that uh, we are going to get the result of x for this as well that is how to do this problem thanks for taking your time to this stage and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos like this if you have another way of doing this, I mean, another idea, you can drop it in the comment box. Thanks, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.